Hi, everyone, and welcome to this edition of First Look. It is Monday, October 15th, and Dr. John LaPook is here. Imagine that. We're actually leading today with a pretty encouraging story about the number of cancer deaths declining in this country. And really, this is about people taking charge of their own health, eating better, taking advantage of prevention techniques, right, like mammograms and colonoscopies. And what, what else do you attribute this to, John? I, th I think the screening is, is really a big deal across the board. And of course, we've got the Couric effect. Because for colon it, cancer screening, right. which is so gratifying. It, it is exciting. great. This, this woman in 2000, I don't know who she is exactly, but her last name was Couric. She got a colonoscopy on air. And let me tell you, that made a huge difference because the number of colonoscopies nationwide went up 10%, in some areas as high as 20%. Um, and this has, I believe, really made the biggest contribution to the, to the drop in, in colon cancer. It, it probably is a good time for us just to mention symptoms because sometimes, even if you're symptomatic, you can nip it in the bud right. or butt, either one. And those are things like bloating, right. uh, irregularity, mm -hmm. uh, Ribbon blood, like stools right, r blood in your stools. Right. And, you know, some people hear that and they think they're actually going to see red, but oftentimes it's like a darker stool, or not to be, be really gross around lunchtime. It could be invisible, right? Yeah. So, and, and that's something that's that why they call it fecal occult. Right. Uh, it could be, it could be um, something that causes you to very slowly lose your blood. And I've seen that many, many times. People come in with a, with a colon cancer, and their, their only complaint is they're just tired. They're just not feeling well, right? right. That's an important, important point, because I know Jay was really tired a mm -hmm. lot. And we, he kept saying, I'm going to feel better when the weather gets warmer. He was exhausted. We thought it was because of having two small children. But if you're really fatigued mm -hmm. perpetually, uh, you know, and right, you could just be in the thick of it, like somebody with two small kids, so we're all tired. Or it could be something else, and you really do have to check. And we have to sort of reiterate that starting at age 50, you should get a screening colonoscopy. If you have a family history and you have any concerns, you should talk with your doctor about that, because you usually become, um, I guess, symptomatic, or at least the colon cancer starts to develop usually 10 years prior to the onset of the disease in a first-line relative. Right. We want to leave you with this thought. If you haven't talked to your doctor about colon cancer and you're 50 or over or have a family history and any concerns if you're in your 40s, because 13,000 people under the age of 50 are diagnosed every year, by the way, like my husband, we urge you to, to talk to your doctor because it really has the potential of saving your life. And you really you have a personal responsibility to the people you love and who depend on you to do that. So, John, thank you. Thanks. We don't have time to talk about anything else on tonight's <laughs> show, but we have a lot of other good things coming up. Hopefully you'll be watching. Until then, I'm Katie Couric, and this is First Look.